Medieval England. Setting a course for the year 507 AD. We shall escort you to Camelot. Camelot isn't about history. Evil draws close. It's about one noble idea. But we must rise. You ready to go get medieval out there? Yeah! DC's Legends of Tomorrow. All new Tuesday, February 21st on The CW. Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. This is going to be my Legends of Tomorrow episode 12 trailer video and episode 11 easter egg video combined. Careful for spoilers from the episode if you haven't seen it yet. So because there's so much DC and Marvel stuff happening, I'm going to combine this so I don't have to do like 50 videos this week. So this is the trailer for Camelot 3000, which is this really weird arc from the comics that I'll explain, and my episode video from this week. There's a new round of the Flash Ring giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. So just a teaser for the Camelot episode. The Camelot 3000 storyline in the comics was this really weird run where it's this reincarnated version of the Knights of the Round Table, King Arthur, that reemerge in the year 3000. So it was part of DC's continuity. It was meant to be this really weird, trippy story. Now they're having a lot of fun with it in the Legends of Tomorrow universe. You can see that there's Justice Society members that are coming back too. I'll explain more about that at the end of the video. But we have to talk about that heat wave intro to this past episode. He killed it. Who writes this crap anyway? Seriously, you idiots haven't figured this out by now. It all started when we blew up the time pigs, the time masters. Now history's all screwed up, and it's up to us to unscrew it up. But half the time we screw things up even worse. So don't call us heroes, we're something else. We're legends. Who writes this crap anyway? The best thing about Legends of Tomorrow is that if you thought The Flash was really fun and silly, Legends of Tomorrow this season has just taken that ball and completely spiked it in the end zone. This is so much better, so you can see how it kind of fits in with the other DC TV shows. It's meant to be this really big, fun, epic, swashbuckling drama across space and time. We'll have to talk about it more at the end of the season because I think what'll end up happening is, is that when Arrow eventually goes off the air, if they don't have another show that's going to take its place, they'll move Legends to Wednesday night, and it'll be Supergirl, Flash, and Legends. And then after that, who knows, because they have the Black Lightning TV show that's coming. But let's do top 10 WTF comic book Easter eggs. I already talked about the Heat Wave intro. That was really my number 10. Heat Wave in the Legion of Doom intro were my favorite intros of the season so far. There's one episode that I think might beat it, and it's called Doom World. It's the last episode before the finale, and I cannot wait to hear what the intro for that is, because it makes it seem like the Legion of Doom has constructed the Spear of Destiny, they rewrite history, and the Legends have to deal with their version of Flashpoint and try to fix everything, rewrite reality back to what it should be. Number nine was Evil Rip Hunter killing George Washington, then just casually, like almost like he was having fun, giving all those weapons to the British soldiers, telling them how much fun it was going to be to rewrite history and play dirty. So number eight, enter the reverse Flash. I know he's still not wearing the costume. He actually posted this picture from a future episode that they're filming right now with him back in the yellow costume. So there'll be plenty more reverse Flash stuff happening in future episodes. There's Eobard Thawne stuff, then there's reverse Flash stuff. But because of what he did to Rip Hunter's memories, for whatever reason now, he is just completely aligned with the Legion of Doom. He feels nothing for the Legends. So maybe he erased some of those memories. It seems like his motivation mostly flows from the Time Masters allowing his children to die at the hands of Vandal Savage. And for some reason, whatever memories got rewritten, he didn't get over that. So that's why he's with the Legion of Doom. Number seven was the big giant rat callback. So early in the episode, Adam is complaining to Heatwave, dude, you eat food everywhere, and he does. He's like Brad Pitt. He's got food in his mouth in every single scene. So he complains that there's a rat on board the Wave Rider that later they bring back after he gets stuck being tiny, running from the giant rat, which he then later gives to Heatwave as a Christmas gift. So I love some of the pairings in this episode. Now obviously there was the big pairing, number six, Vixen and Citizen Steel totally getting it on, him explaining Tinder, her explaining how she never got to see the end of Wizard of Oz, so he gives her the ruby slippers. But plot aside, just a lot of the funny moments that they had together were great in this episode. Like him going over the falls, her calling the seal totem, then at the end of the episode she just basically tells him, dude, chill, there's not going to be any relationship stuff happening here. Which I think is great, I love that people are actually allowed to have sex without being in relationships on this TV show. 
Number five was all the craziness on the Wave Rider. There were a whole bunch of Easter eggs. Damn it, I'm a physicist, not a doctor. So this is really Jax's episode to step up. It was him versus Rip Hunter sort of confronted with the idea that maybe you can't save some people. Like he almost kills him, but Sarah stops him because she doesn't want him to lose a part of his soul. All the Sarah dying jokes were great. I died once, didn't like it too much. Just making a joke about the Lazarus Pit on Arrow. She kind of died two more times in this episode. Number four was Heat Wave in General Washington. They were great together. You don't know what it means to be a real American. He basically gives him the business, and by the end of the episode, Washington is like, a gentleman would fight, but I'm an American, so let's run. So now because of that, because they're bros, he totally has a statue of himself in Washington, D.C. that's still there in present day. So he is now one of America's founding fathers. It is so great. Jokes like that are why I love this show so much. Number three was Evil Rip Hunter killing Sarah again, just being super vicious. He was nuts when he was on the Wave Rider, trying to get that spear fragment from Jax. You see him pause for a minute when he's getting ready to kill Sarah, like he's thinking about it, but then just says he feels nothing. So it's definitely not an act. He's been completely rewritten as a human being, which is why he has his old accent back, all of his old memories, with the exception of the ones that made him a good person. So the key to fixing him is getting that memory matrix that the reverse flash stole from the bank vault. So if they can get that back, they can rewrite his memories to what they should be. But number two was the Christmas dinner. I totally love scenes like this. It was kind of a downer episode because somebody that you're supposed to trust, this Rip Hunter figure, is now totally evil. So it got really hardcore really fast, but they find a way to make you feel a little bit better. They're like, the Legion of Doom has the spear fragment, but they don't have this family. That's going to be important for later episodes because even though the Legion came to an agreement at the end of last week's episode where the reverse flash is like, okay, finally, we're all partners they will still eat each other alive. That's just in their nature. They don't have the friendship, the camaraderie that the legends have, which is what that scene was all about. Number one is the return of the Justice Society in the Camelot episode in two weeks. So as you saw, that Stargirl in the background, the way they explain this is that the remaining spear fragments of the Spear of Destiny are held by different Justice Society members that are hidden across space and time. So this spear fragment is with Stargirl in this Camelot 3000 time period. So like I said, the storyline from the comics that this is based on was the resurrected knights of the round table, King Arthur, Guinevere, in the year 3000. So it'll be fun to see how they address the idea of them being mythical figures from history versus real people. Citizen Steel is the real historian, so he'll probably have some things to say about that. Like, King Arthur, was he an actual real person or was he just somebody that was made up? So just remember, this is the comics, so sometimes they make fictional people real in the world of the comics. But Legends of Tomorrow, Game of Thrones in two weeks. So just a reminder that the Flash is on break, Arrow is going to be on break too, Legends of Tomorrow. So all the DC shows will be on break next week. Then they'll come back the week after that. But I will be doing bonus videos for everything. In the video schedule today is going to be Iron Fist footage. There's some new footage I'll post later tonight. Then I'll post my Legion episode one video Thursday morning. Then I'll post my Arrow video. Congratulations to the new Flash Ring giveaway winner, Luke Rizzo. Please private message me on the back end of my channel so I can get your contact details. I saw you're also subscribed to my gaming channel, Charlie Streams. If you guys didn't know, I do have a game channel. I don't post there that often just because all these normal videos take up my time so much, but I might stream there later. There's always links for that in the description if you want to find out where the other channels I have are. But I got some new really cool Iron Fist that I'll post later tonight, and then I'll update everybody on the video schedule on Twitter and Facebook as I post new videos. While you wait for that to post, you can click here for my Flash episode, and you can click here for the trailer for the next episode of Flash. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody, let's high five. I'll see you in the next video.